Hey guys, it's Dave from Red Wagon Dioramas. There's something a little different for us today. I have this Luke Skywalker Red 5 bust. Full disclosure, I did open this on Christmas Day because this was one of those Christmas presents I wrapped up for myself. My wife was like, what is that? And uh, I took it out of the package. I looked at it and I put it back in. So I'm gonna give it another shot here on video and kind of give you my thoughts on these. And just for context, guys, mostly I collect you know, Star Wars Black Series figures, some vintage collection, and I'm really into the Kenner um, Star Wars stuff from my childhood. So I don't do statues and busts. You know, I haven't watched any reviews on this bust or any of the busts actually ever. So I really don't know much about this product, but I thought I'd just open it up and give you my impressions. Uh, if you're new, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for me if you enjoy this content. So this is kind of one of my favorite characters to collect in Star Wars is the X-Wing Luke. And that's why I picked that body for my black series selfie figure which i am not too happy with look at that yeah not that great but anyway i'm hoping this bust can find a place on my shelf along with maybe some other x-wing luke items retail price from diamond select for these busts i think is usually around 200 bucks 175 to 200 maybe a little bit more for some you know exclusives or something but this guy was marked down to just i think it was a hundred dollars on entertainment earth's website right before christmas so it was an impulse buy, I pulled the trigger. So like I said, I did open this already on Christmas. So it was just a bit of tape to slice there. Comes with this nice card again with the uh, production number there, 298. So that's handwritten there, kind of a gold marker. Again, the paint just looks really nice on that. So you also get this uh, Gentle Giant ad. These are some of their 1 6 scale bust that they were doing and they all look great i mean if, i'm sure some people probably have some awesome collections of these pieces and here's some more of their half scale busts they've got coming up first order trooper and the uh the pilot from that video game and then finally a promo for their premier premier guild i have been a guild member for the last two years basically i bought into it so i could get some of the jumbo figures but i decided not to um renew this year i was just you know 100 bucks and I don't know, I was trying to cut back, so I'm not a guild member this year. Okay, let's slide this baby open. I said I used a razor knife and I cut the tape all the way around it. And I opened this on Christmas. And this is what presents itself. So there you go. Let's get him out of the plastic. So first impression, I forgot how heavy this is. It is very solid. I'm not sure what they make these out of. Again, I'm pretty ignorant on statues and all that. But here you go. You've got the logo, Gentle Giant, Star Wars, limited edition, number 298 of 1,000. So it's marked on here as well. Luke Skywalker, red five. I do like the design of this with the X-Wing there as the base. R2, I think that's pretty cool. I am thinking of it more favorably than I did Christmas morning. Again, I was comparing it to the artwork on the box, and you can tell the paint job is just not really to the caliber that they have on the uh, the promo images. The mouth is nicely done. I think, uh, yeah, actually everything, the strap, the chin strap, you got the microphone there, get the helmet, get some uh, some smudging, some, some weathering there on the helmet. Pretty clean overall, and some more black paint kind of on the deco there and then the chest piece is that's nicely painted i like the blues and the grays there you know a little bit of extra paint there on the black on the edge there the orange and the white very nice a little bit of weathering on the back there see his hair coming out of the helmet i think the uh the visor kind of hides some of the uh some of the sins of the paint job you know i'm not gonna be negative on the paint job i'm just making the point that it doesn't quite look like the you know the promo paint job on the box it's not quite that caliber but it is very good and it's very passable in my opinion so here's a side by side a couple things i'm noticing with the production you know the, the photo on the uh, paint sample there versus the actual one in hand the flesh tone is more i don't know it's just much more alive looking i think there's there's just more shading in the face here than the actual painted piece the visor on the actual bust here is a little more yellow, um, not quite as transparent as it looks like on the uh, 
on the box image. The sculpt is there. It's just, it's the eyes and the eyebrows and just the flesh tones. I don't know if this has been Photoshopped or what, but you've got, you've got the glint in the eyes and these eyes would have benefited from a little white dot right there on the, on the pupil to make them you know, look a little more lifelike. You know, maybe some high gloss clear coat on the eyes would have helped. I guess that's overall, that's, that's, that's kind of my impression is that the bust in hand just looks a little more flat and, and dead compared to the very lifelike looking uh, paint job on the box art. And I don't know if that's typical for, for human characters from Diamond Select for these busts. Um, maybe that's how all of them are. I really don't know. So you tell me, if you're a collector of these busts, let me know in the comments. Is this typical? Um, what do you think of this paint job on the head here? Um, am I being too picky, you know, for the price point? Um, or do you think they could have done a better job with the face paint here? So those are my thoughts, guys. Um, the piece has a lot of mass to it. I think the paint job overall is very good. I just wish the face paint was better. You know, the image on the box is kind of what you expect and then you open it up and it's just not quite there. So a little disappointing, but honestly, I still like the piece. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to hang on to it, put it on my shelf next to some of the other Luke items and we'll see. I think it'll grow on me. Okay. Well, here he is set up with a few other X-Wing Luke items from my collection. I've got the gentle giant jumbo figure there. That's that recent Luke with the removable helmet and the two sabers that they released. Uh, really cool piece. I haven't opened him up yet, but I will. And then, of course, I've got uh, my one of my favorite Black Series figures is the original Orange Line Luke right there with his helmet and his blaster. And, of course, I've got my childhood Kenner Luke there with the R2 that I picked up. A TVC figure. And then these two little guys. These are the Micro Galaxy Squadron uh, that came with the uh, X-Wing there. So... Zooming out here, you get a good sense of kind of how it all looks. I think it's a real nice piece to add to the collection. It uh, has shelf presence for $100 on sale as a one-off item for, you know, one of my favorite characters. I think it was worth it. So I'll end the review there, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you collect any of these. And I really want to know if this, you know, kind of paint job is typical. So let me know in the comments. And if you're new, uh, please subscribe. Hit the like button for me. And I will catch you guys on the next one. May the force be with you.